Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I, Priya Gasdar, Honorary Secretary, Fiki Flow, Hyderabad Chapter, feel immeasurably honored to welcome you all to this evening that celebrates passion, purpose, and pride. An evening that showcases the value of ingenuity and inventiveness. An evening that upholds the importance of realizing self-worth and embodying the power to empower. For most of us, it may be the first song ever that we learned the lyrics to. And its appeal, it lasts a lifetime, bringing us to attention wherever we are on this beautiful planet. I request you all to rise or stand wherever you are for our national anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkala Vanga Hindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhita Ranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Aashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Janagana Mangala Dayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Jaya Hind To deliver the welcome address, I now invite the thought and force behind this evening, the lady who helms Palman Group, counted amongst India's most respected instrumentation and automation companies, the lady who firmly but compassionately steered Fiki Flow Hyderabad to its destination through the storm of the pandemic. Chairperson Fiki Ladies Organization 2021, Srimati Usharani Manne. Please welcome her with a rousing applause. Namaste. I feel privileged to welcome all of you present here and our viewers from across the world to this evening that celebrates courage and accomplishment. Because every day, with every life they touch and every spirit they rise, our 14 awardees today are creating ripples that stretch across the globe. My deepest gratitude to our distinguished chief guest, Honorable Mayor, Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation, Srimati Gadwal Vijay Lakshmi, Principal Secretary IT and ITC Department, Sri Jayesh Ranjan, former representative of India to the UN, Sri Syed Akbaruddin, Srimati Jahnavi Pukan, National President Fiki Flo and Srimati Pinky Reddy, past National President Fiki Flo, for obliging our request to join us here today. I also acknowledge the encouraging presence of the past chairpersons of Fiki Flo Hyderabad. Apurva Jain, chairperson Y Flo Hyderabad, and my dear friend Malu Natarajan, chairperson Fiki Flo Mumbai chapter. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to have you all with us at FIVA 
Flo Influential Women Awards 2021. Everything is within her power and every power is within her. In her heart that's kind and fierce, generous and steely, forgiving and passionate, all at the same time. That's our FIVA lady. IT team, play the logo unveil video please. Thank you. I see the world as a place of opportunity and the history of the world shows clearly that great things can happen when women are given the chance to shine. Let me quote from India, think of the iron will behind Rani Lakshmi Bai and Ahalya Bai Holkar. Take the creative genius of Begum Akhtar and Amrita Shargil. Consider the pioneers of women, women's education like Savitri Bai Pule and Durga Bai Deshmukh. Reflect on the scientific capabilities of Ashima Chatterjee and Janaki Amal. Think of these and also of the millions of Indian women today brimming with, brimming with the talent and potential, just waiting for the chance, make their mark and turn their dreams into reality. At Fiki Flow, we endeavor to unlock their doors to success and unblock their avenue of opportunity. For when women shine like the sun, their radiance will be forever undimmed. We are gathered here this hour evening to honor and celebrate a group of formidable women leaders living and working in the Telugu states of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. They have demonstrated through their life and work and their leadership in governance, innovation, incubation, entrepreneurship, law enforcement, and many other fields that women make a difference, not just a small difference, but a big and critical one. Each of our award winners embodies the soaring spirit and enormous struggles women still have to overcome across the world at all levels. They have become incredible role models for and serve as an inspiration across countries, regions, and generations. Flo has been fortunate to work with some of them in their different incarnations. They are women whose voices are heard in local, national, and international policy and program making, in development, in the promotion and protection of human rights, in science, from their stance and area of influence, they have shown that when a woman's voice is heard, when she participates in decision making, and when she exercises leadership, she most likely brings something unique, special, and of high value and quality to the key decisions. Along with them, we also laud the millions of silent warriors, women who fight dogma, prejudices, social barriers, economic bias, domestic and sexual violence. My congratulations to each one of today's awardees and hope that your resilience and resolve serve as an inspiration for other women to act. An event of this scale cannot be actualized without the confluence of generous hearts and untiring hands. I would like to place on record my thanks and appreciation to all our sponsors and partners for their financial and services support in helping us actualize this vision. Contract Watch, our title sponsor. Shri Jewelers, our principal sponsor. Co-sponsors, Arbindo Pharma and Infra Bazaar. 
అసోసియేట్ స్పాన్సర్ వాసిరెడ్డి స్వగృహ ఫుడ్స్ కుచ్వా పార్ట్నర్ మనోమే స్టైలింగ్ పార్ట్నర్ మిరర్స్ లగ్జరీ సెలూన్స్ అండ్ బ్రాండింగ్ పార్ట్నర్ ఆర్బీసీ వరల్డ్ వైడ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఫర్ బిలీవింగ్ ఇన్ హై ఫ్లో హైదరాబాద్ అంబిషియస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఫీవా థ్యాంక్స్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ టు అవర్ నేషనల్ ఫ్లో ప్రెసిడెంట్ జాహ్నబీ పూకన్ ఫర్ టేకింగ్ టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రమ్ హర్ హెక్టిక్ స్కెడ్యూల్ అండ్ ఒబ్లైజింగ్ మై రిక్వెస్ట్ టు గ్రేస్ దిస్ అకేషన్ ఐ నో ఢిల్లీ విల్ బి మిస్సింగ్ హర్ సోర్లీ ఎస్పెషల్ థ్యాంక్స్ టు ద పర్ల్ అండ్ ప్రైడ్ ఆఫ్ హైదరాబాద్ పాస్ట్ నేషనల్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ పింకి రెడ్డి ఫర్ హర్ బిలీఫ్ ఇన్ అండ్ స్టాంచ్ సపోర్ట్ ఫర్ ద కాజ్ many thanks to the past state persons of flow hyderabad for their support and guidance at all times my appreciation for the flow and y flow working committees for fiva and respective executive committees for the exemplary teamwork dedication and commitment with which they have come together to make this evening possible my deep gratitude to y flow chairperson apurva jain for her unstinted support from start to finish in putting this beautiful event together i would like to end by congratulating our awardees once again for their tremendous ingenuity for their efforts for their courage for their work to make change in their own lives in their communities and throughout the world i'm sure they'll continue to impact the world for many more years to come and now i turn the podium back to our honorary secretary flow hyderabad priya gazdar to continue the program thank you thank you usha for setting the context of quantra quads fiki flow influential women awards so evocatively director jti group co-founder of national tourism award winning companies jungle travels india and assam bengal navigation company an aficionado of tea and textiles a champion of women and youth empowerment and the 37th national president of fiki ladies organization ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for our guest of honor shrimati janavi phukan as i most respectfully invite her on stage to address us wife flow ec member riddhi jain will escort mrs jain namaskaram or adab hyderabad this beautiful city is one of india's fastest growing metros and as i made my way from the airport today i could also see why it's ranked as the world's most dynamic city and one of the most livable cities and i would very likely happily add the most one of the most lovable cities as well for my experience of your mehman nawazi thank you for your warm welcome to your city today thank you chapter chair usha ranimani and her team i've been an integral part of fiki flow for the past 14 years when i started the flows northeast chapter and i have seen how this organization of ours has grown over the years with 17 chapters Fiki Flow affords each of its 8000 members the opportunity to network, to make friends, to learn and share and grow together in both businesses and social bonding across the country. And as national president this year and the first from India's northeast, I am but have the opportunity to visit my chapters virtually in this unprecedented covid year and now for the first time physically to be here in hyderabad i must say that hyderabad has excelled among our 17 chapters and i must congratulate your chapter for it and in a year like this our chapter chair usha has managed to put 800 members together in hyderabad and this is because of the good work 
end of the day, we all have to show work. And this has been possible in learning, upskilling, incubation, mentorship, and the social outreach that Flo has done. So I would like to congratulate Usha and her executive committee for the outstanding work this year. And I would say it would not have been possible without the conducive atmosphere of women entrepreneurship, especially for women that you have in your state. And for this, my kudos to the Telangana government that is taking innovative and sustainable measures to make the state of Telangana the destination of choice for both international and domestic companies and startups. The ecosystem to encourage and support entrepreneurship is certainly in full bloom here. My congratulations to the government. Hyderabad chapter has made Fiki Flow proud through its many achievements. And I came in as a national president last year. My, my vision and mission was to work for sustainable practices and work towards sustainable livelihoods for women's economic upliftment. So with each of my chapters, that was the mandate given to them, and Hyderabad has not disappointed. We had, I must tell you about the three levels that Flo believes in working for women. The grassroots level, the urban level, and the corporate level. At the grassroots level, we asked of our chapter chairs to adopt a village each and uh, concentrate on a microcosm of women and let us put our efforts into upgrading and uh, looking after the women in that particular micro system. And uh, Hyderabad found and brought together the last 16 practitioners of the Cherial art under one brand called Tirumani and opened up a pan-India market for them by connecting them with all the chapters. And I do think that this adoption, what she has taken into this level, has merged for the uh, development of arts and crafts, of tourism, and of looking after and upskilling the women. So it's, everything will grow concentrically. Everything is very organic, end of the day. And it's how we find the right dots to connect. So that end of the day, we are all making a difference to our women and to the society around us. And I've seen that the marketing collateral and the innovative uh, product range that has been created through Flow's support system and for the Cherial uh, brand, and I'm excited to see that this will has found a sustainable way forward. And I would like to speak about our Flow 3Cs program, which we positioned as working towards building competency, capacity and confidence building for women to enhance employability and promote women entrepreneurship. So under our flow three C's, at the urban level, the Hyderabad chapter organized two rounds of training for women farmers in Hyderabad in association with Khadi Gramadyog's Mahavidyalaya to skill them in the manufacture of vermicompost and organic pesticides and nearly 100 women benefited from it. So these are consistent trainings that we have tried to do. And the other point in the urban level which we had asked for and my mandate was that let us, all chapters, adopt an ITI each, the industrial training institutes that our country has. So with the ITIs, we found a whole captive audience of young people that, who responded to our uh, to our messages and to our training. And despite the COVID year when they were all locked down, we could reach them with the online training. And I should think that the, with the COVID year, we turned this crisis into an opportunity. And learning never stopped. Skilling never stopped. Work never stopped. And we worked with uh, the Hyderabad chapter and at the national level with uh, McLean, which was a licensed facilitator of the Deen Dayal Upadhyay Gramin Koshal Yojana. And we also work with the Sleep Well Foundation, which is run by our FLOW past president. With this, we provided training, come placement for girl students 
and we reported Hyderabad in particular, reported 100% placement success with leading software companies, including the second round which is underway now. So Flow Hyderabad has been able to mobilize nearly 120 women for this program. So this has been consistent work and Hyderabad has delivered. I'd like to tell you about the Flow Mentorship Cell. That was another initiative which was started last year to create a self-reliant and an entrepreneurial ecosystem for our Flow members by our own Flow uh, members who are strong in areas of finance, marketing, legal, PR, and patents across varied fields such as fashion, jewelry, technology, education, pharmaceuticals. So with this, we at Flow have created a, a group of mentors who've gone through the cohort training uh, with the Virginia Tech. So that has been a structured MOU that we had in place and a structured pool of Flow members who are uh, trained cohorts for the betterment of, uh, for, for who would also lend their services, lend their expertise to all the other chapters around us. So the idea of flow, what we try to do was call it one flow. So 17 chapters across the country, but we all work together in the new normal. That was a very exciting way forward that our organization has been able to do. And uh, with the mentorship, we also did the incubation cell, which was another way of helping our members who were struggling during the COVID times to be able to incubate their business, learn how to sustain their business, and to not, um, not lose hope, to find courage and confidence from each other by learning and learning from the other members and other stories around them. That's very important to be able to share your knowledge, to be able to grow each other, not just for yourself, but for everyone around you. The idea of flow is to take all the women along with you. And I must mention here about Hyderabad, especially that their collaboration with CIE at IIIT, at IIMR, at the WA Hub, and at IIT Hyderabad, it has yielded wonderful results. The idea opportunity validation bootcamp that Hyderabad had, followed by the micro accelerator program organized by the Triple IT has caught the interest of the finance minister and was appreciated by our prime minister himself. So the government has noticed our efforts and uh, we are no longer working in silos, but Pan India, we're trying to make a collective difference. And so today's awards, when Usha very kindly invited me to be here and one of the few physical events that I have come for, I could not resist because uh, this, the work that you all are doing really needs to be told to the world over, and especially against the backdrop of this magnificent UNESCO heritage site, the Chao Mahal Palace. It, it's been a commendable effort, and despite COVID times and the SOPs in place, I'm very glad to see how well organized this looks and how beautifully our members have risen to the occasion to put this program together for all of us. And I would like to therefore congratulate the awardees of today's show, who I'm sure have been selected with great care and uh, conviction of what they all stand for, because the women today are the role models for all of us. And there's so much to learn and to be inspired from, from them. And last but not the least, our, a chapter as old as Hyderabad with strong chapter chairs who are here today, who have made the chapter what it is today, and the handing of the baton from, it, through the different periods is what has kept this organization growing. So we are all learning and we are all growing together. So I would like to say that for Flow Hyderabad, keep doing the work you're doing, keep making us proud, and keep blazing your way in the Fiki Flow firmament. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you, Janbi ji, for being our guiding light. And on behalf of Hyderabad chapter, much obliged for your kind words of praise. 
She currently heads the award-winning April division of Pokarna Limited, Stanza. A strong and elegant leader with a slew of innovative programs that kept the members engaged and involved through a whole year of uncertainty. That's the very charming Apurva Jain, Chairperson Waiflo Hyderabad Chapter. May I invite you on stage, Apurva, to say a few words. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor and privilege to welcome you for the Flow Influential Women Awards 2021 to celebrate and pay tribute to the role of women in all aspects of life. Today, I would like to express my gratitude to our distinguished chief guest, Honorable Mayor, Greater Hyderabad Municipal Cooperation, Srimati Gadwal Baja Lakshmi, Principal Secretary IT and IT and C Departments, Sri Jayesh Ranjan, former representative of India to the UN, Sri Said Akbaruddin, Sri Mati Johanbi Fukan, National President Fiki Flo, and Sri Mati Pinky Reddy, past National President Fiki Flo, for taking time out and being here to cheer us on. It has been an overwhelming journey as I begin to summarize the year that 2020 has been. While the pandemic raged and social lockdown prevailed, Fiki Flo and Y Flo shone like beacons of hope using every platform possible to meet the need for learning and interaction. My theme for the year, Burn to Brighton, was essentially coined to pay homage for all the struggles that lead us to where we are, but highlighted the crucial essence for this year more than ever. One must not give up hope, but continue the fight, and eventually there will be light like always. While we lost a lot on the physical front, this year, let us explore and expand our virtual presence. 17 chapters across the country came together like never before, forming a united stand for their sisters, colleagues, members, mothers, and outstanding achievers. We learned that woman empowerment is not purely a physical concept. It is not bound by space and time. It is a vision that needs to be honed. I want to continue to reiterate my commitment to women into all areas of political, social, and economic life. The journey of these ambitious awardees tonight gives us all an opportunity to reflect on the road ahead and how we might harness our collective energies. I'm so pleased to have you all here with us. Congratulations on your wonderful achievements once again. I always hope that my tenure will make a significant difference at all levels in the coming years. We've taken some important steps but are far from finished. Because there's always a part of us that deeply wants to uplift ourselves in a way that it inspires others around. And I feel truly honored to be among so many such voices here that empower one another and are a voice for the voiceless. A big thank you for the floor chairperson, Ms. Usha Rani Mane, for being a dream to execute this event with. Your ever gracious personality and smile has, been, has really helped me deliver with ease. Special thanks to the past chairs for their unconditional support, flow and by flow committees for their continued teamwork, and last but not the least, our sponsors for believing in us and helping us go the extra mile. So while we burn to brighten our world outside, let's join together to write the final chapter. Thank you. Thank you, Apurva. Definitely, Burn to Brighton is the way to be. And now, Fiki Flo Hyderabad would like to honor the dignitaries who have so graciously accepted our invitation to be here and the main sponsors of Fontraquad's Fiki Flo Influential Women Awards 2021. I would like to call upon stage Principal Secretary IT and ITNC Departments, Government of Telangana, Shri Jayesh Ranjan, the man who has been a strong support for Fiki Flow Hyderabad at all times. Flow EC member UVL Ananda will escort him. I would also like to invite Usharani Manne, Chairperson Flow, and Apurva Jain, Chairperson Y Flow, to join him on stage.
I would now like to call upon stage formerly permanent representative of India to the United Nations, official spokesperson of India's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Indian representative at IAEA, Shri Syed Akbaruddin. Flow member Bela Modi will escort him. I once again call upon Srimati Janibi Pukan to please come on stage. Riti Jain, Shubhra Maheshwari, please escort her. She has made Flo Hyderabad and the city itself so proud, and yet she has never let go of that ready smile and steady hand of support. Past National President Fiki Flo and the luminous pearl of Hyderabad, Srimati Pinky Reddy. Please come on stage. Shri Gautam Chand Jain, Chairman and Managing Director, Pokarna Limited. Thank you so much for stepping in as our title sponsor. Undoubtedly, Quantra Quads helped us lay the foundation for FIVA 2021. Abhishek Agarwal, Managing Director, Shri Jewelers, Principal Sponsor of FIVA 2021. We will remain indebted to you, sir, for your unstinted support at so many levels. Shri 
Madan Mohan Reddy, Director, Aurobindo Pharma Limited. Thank you for believing in the purpose of FIVA and stepping in to be our co-sponsor. Srimati Vandana Pai, Director, Intra Bazaar. We are grateful to you for your participation in FIVA 2021 as our co sponsor. Prakash, I think you should be in that frame too. And lastly, Dr. Monica, from our associate sponsor, Vasireddy Swagruha Foods, thank you for lending your sweet support to FIVA 2021. I think she's not here too. I will give you a little more excise and want all of you to come back on stage, please, for a picture. Janabi ji, Pinky. Our sponsors to return to their seats, but our dignitaries to please remain. Jayesh D. Akbaruddin ji, please stay on stage. Our sponsors can retain, uh, re return to their seats. I request all our past chairs present here Rekha Reddy, Monika Agarwal, Vani Subhash, Jyotsna Angara, Manjula Reddy, Shilpa Datla. And pardon me if I haven't been able to locate some others, but please, all of you are most welcome to come on stage and give us a very pretty picture. Maurya Boda, Mansi Malik. Jum Babu Khan, Samia Alam Khan, I 
our chief guest has arrived and i would like to request honorable mayor shrimati gadwal vijay lakshmi to please come on stage In deference to azan time we will be taking a short break here until 8 pm light snacks will be served at your seats to tickle your taste buds and keep you hydrated all kinds of music voice has to be cut down Ladies and gentlemen request you to settle down in your seats We'll be commencing the program in just a few minutes Figi Flow Hyderabad would like to thank Kutua partner Manomay Adornment partner Shri Jewelers Styling partner Mirrors Luxury Salons Branding partner RBC Worldwide, hospitality partner Amruta Castle, delight partner Creamstone, and inspiriting partner Bacardi Limited for all their support in bringing FIVA 2021 to fruition. We would also like to thank our gifting partners Kashish, Varenium, Anagha, the Kaftan Company, Lift Pure Co, Gourmet Foodworks, Green Station, Genome Labs, Lotus, Almond House, Flavor. Vasire Deswagruha Foods, Agra Sweets, and A to Z Event Services for being our gifting partners. Kindly take your seats. Welcome back to FIVA 2021 where we will be recognizing 14 women icons who have displayed exceptional clarity in the vision and unbounded capacity in the field of their choice but before we go there on behalf of all of us present here i would like to extend a very warm welcome to our chief guest shrimati gadwal vijay lakshmi honorable mayor greater hyderabad municipal corporation thank you ma'am for joining us here I request you to grace the dais and deliver your address. Chairperson Flo Usharani Manne and Chairperson Y Flo Apurva Jain will join you on stage. Radhika Agarwal, Joint Secretary, will escort you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a pleasure to be with you all this evening, and especially happy to be a part of your influential awards. And also, I, I, I'm not too familiar with all these clubs, Fiki, Fiki Flows, I'm all into politics and stuff. So it's very new to me. But I lately, like from last four days, what I've been doing is just attending all Women's Day and meeting all these lovely entrepreneurs who've been into different fields. So today, I would like to speak a little few words about what I know about and what we need to be doing. Well, first of all, I'm happy that I believe I, Usha Garu just told me about 14 members are getting awards this evening. First of all, I congratulate them for whatever, whichever field they are working in. So entrepreneurship is a magic word. Everybody wants to be one, and especially women want to be one. Today, India has 15 million women enterprises. They occupy almost 20% of business, business in the world and 7% in Telangana. That's where you came to. The, the awardee of this evening should be the inspirational to increase the space. There is no magic shortcut to this. We should fight social bias. The successful women entrepreneurs have proved that. In some cases, it might take years to make a mark but we must start somewhere. If we are good and hardworking, success is assured. The government of the day, both at center and the state, are coming up with special packages for women. The increasing presence of women as entrepreneurs has led to the change in the demographic characteristics of business and economic growth of the country and there is need for sustainable growth of women entrepreneurs. We are all conscious of our limitations, like the family and social restrictions and the taboos, which we must fight them. Other hindrances are unfavorable environment, lack of information, stiff competition, promotional help, training, marketing assistance, and family support, etc. The government of the, the day, both at the center and the state, are offering many packages to help women entrepreneurs. The Ministry of MSMEs mandates 25% procurement, in which 3% is reserved for women-owned units. In 2018, Telangana's government launched WeHub, an initiative to promote women-owned enterprise. This program has incubated 25 startups, with 16 benefiting from loans up to two crores. Unfortunately, despite improvements in social parameters, India's growth does not translate into the economic incursions and development of women. Women entrepreneurs in India believe strongly in the power of female communities and mentors. The new Women Web Survey has many such insights for you. The awardees of today should be such mentors. And finally, I would like all the entrepreneurs here, please help, the, especially the startup businesses. There are a lot of the startup people who need help. And here, uh, Fiki Flow is a big one, I understand. But what I have seen last four days, there are a lot of women still struggling to come up. It is not an easy job for any women to just come up. Because if you have a big, if you're a big person's daughter, that is a problem in the society. And if you're not any, so that's a problem in the society. So a woman needs to support a woman. That's all is what I want you to say. And um, thank you, Usha Garu and the Flow team for coming and inviting me. It was an honor, and I mean, I feel privileged to be here also. Thank you once again, and I wish each and every woman a happy International Women's Day. Thank you.
requesting Usharani Manne, Chairperson Flo Hyderabad, and Apurva Jain, Chairperson Y Flo Hyderabad, to join Madam Mayor on stage. We had missed the presence of Sri Madan Mohan Reddy, Director Aurobindo Pharma Limited, earlier on. Requesting you, sir, to please come on stage to accept your FIVA memento. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the most exciting part of the evening. Every woman featuring in this section of awards for outstanding contribution to a field of choice does not need another award to prove her mettle. Indeed, it is we who need them, for they continue to keep getting better and more generous with what they do, because today they do it for us. Be it science or innovation, law enforcement or culture, or social work. They share their knowledge and efforts freely to make the world a better place. To give away our first award of the evening, along with Chief, Chief Guest Mayor Srimati Gadwal Vijay Lakshmi, I would have liked to invite Usha Rani Manne and Apurva, but they are already on stage, and asking Janabi Ji to please join them on stage again. Biotechnology is her fort, and she has directed that immeasurable passion towards transforming the way the world heals. Today, in the labs at Bharat Biotech International Limited, men and women are developing the types of game-changing biotechnology innovations that are revolutionizing the way we treat and cure the most devastating and debilitating diseases, including the vaccine of the moment, Covaxin. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Srimati Suchitra Ella, Joint Managing Director at Bharat Biotech International Limited. She takes home the FIVA Award for outstanding contribution to the biotech sector. Smita Sanghi will escort Srimati Suchitra Ella onto stage. Good evening, Hyderabad, and good evening, Flo. This is a beautiful evening after maybe a, a year or so that many of us have met so many friends, all old time friends. Um, it feels Beautiful. It really feels beautiful. Thank you, Madam uh, Mayor Garu. Thank you, Janvi. I think uh, the first webinar that I spoke about uh, the COVID vaccine development for India uh, was a flow webinar. Um, at that time, we didn't know what was what could be the outcome, but we had to try, and and that's what we did. I accept this award today. I'm very happy. In fact, I could share one more note with all of you because it will make you all happy, I'm sure. Makes me very happy. I've also received the GR8 Flow Award in Mumbai. 
10 years ago, I think Kiran, Kiran is a dear friend, of course. So, uh, I mean, these are, you know, it's been great strengths of motivation for me. But I have to say this, we have close to about 150 women in the company, and I accept this award on behalf of all my women colleagues who have been working through the pandemic. Um, JSG knows um, we have not had a lockdown for Bharat, all the pharmaceutical and life sciences companies, in fact, in Hyderabad. We have been working through the pandemic. My, the women employees have raced to the occasion and they came in the second shifts. And most of, for those of you who don't know where my workplace is, I travel 150 kilometers every day, all the way out to Genome Valley, which is on the Karim Nagar Highway. So that's work for me and all my women colleagues in the company. So I take this award very, very um, honored to receive it, but I want this to be, uh, you know, a part of the service that they have also been in my team and have kept us going this far. Covaxin, as you all know, is where it is today. And um, I, I thank you all for your support and this lovely evening and this great recognition for my entire team. I have to say one more thing before I end. I'm sorry. My mother is here with me today. Uh, she's 78 years old. She's been here through the year uh, from last year, she came from Chennai and she continued to stay with us. Uh, she survived the COVID infection as well. Amma, thank you for uh, making me what I am today. And uh, I'm always th proud of you, the way you have taken care of all of us women, the girls in the family, and have told us just to be bold and, you know, do the right thing. And thank you so much for being here with us, with me today especially. Thank you. Thank you, Janvi ji. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, our next recipient. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see auntie coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, our next recipient is an embodiment of tho all those who stand and say, I can do that. I can give more. I will walk in harm's way to keep you safe. She has demonstrated professionalism under the most trying of circumstances, demonstrated humanity without exception, demonstrated dedication to duty as the clock ticked long past the end of a working day. Vicky Flo Hyderabad is honored to salute Srimati Shikha Goel, additional CP Crimes and SIT, Hyderabad City, with the FIVA Award for Outstanding Contribution to Law Enforcement. She could not join us here, unfortunately, but has deputed an equally deserving officer to accept it on her behalf. Additional DCP, Srimati Sirisha Raghavendra. <laughs>
good evening ladies and gentlemen at the very outset i wish every woman wonderful woman out here a very happy international women's day i am honored i am privileged to be part of this evening on behalf of shikha ma'am on behalf of myself and also shikha ma'am i congratulate all the award winners and i also thank fikki flo for awarding uh, all the deserved women here thank you in spite of biological clock may be delivering babies and all the milestones followed by that standing tall in such an esteemed department is not an easy task and we all look upon to the our senior officers like shikha ma'am swati ma'am who are quite an inspiration for all of us thank you shikha ma'am and all the wonderful women for contributing the society we'll keep rocking thank you thank you ma'am innovations by themselves are not enough we must also build an ecosystem for converting innovations into enterprises and this is what our next recipient has done for 21 years now with unwavering focus bringing the two wings of the bird of imagination innovation and entrepreneurship together by developing the first life science research park in india in mana hyderabad in apna hyderabad she and her team at ikp knowledge park have nurtured and funded over 700 innovation projects and early startups ladies and gentlemen it's my pride and privilege to invite on stage shrimati dipanvita chatopadhyay chairman and ceo ikp knowledge park to receive the fiva award for outstanding contribution to the innovation ecosystem fiki flow member pratibha kunda has escorted her to give away this award along with our chief guest i invite on stage past national president fiki flo shrimati pinky reddy is uh, i was told that this is for my outstanding contribution i have to tell you it's hyderabad who has actually made an outstanding contribution in my life when i moved from mumbai 20 21 years back to head the ikp knowledge park so it is not me but all of you who've made an outstanding contribution by making me a friend of yours thank you so much i i would not have received this award if probably i was not given such fantastic support not only from the government not only from other companies in genome valley and uh, gvk bio was one of our first companies and uh, the entire ecosystem thank you so much thank you so much thank you ma'am your award is there thank you pinky
To say that she is an agent of change may be an understatement. Through MV Foundation that she established, she has made sure children have the right to be educated, protected, participate in decisions that impact their lives, and are entitled to the full spectrum of human rights. She has been instrumental in withdrawing over 10 lakh children from child labor and routing them towards formal education. Professor Shanta Sinha, Founder Secretary Trustee, MV Foundation, and Padma Shri Awardee, we are honored to present you with the FIVA Award for Outstanding Contribution to Social Welfare. Fiki Flow member Tejashri will escort you. To give away this award, along with our chief guest, I invite on stage Shri Madan Mohan Reddy of Aurobindo Limited. for making me part of this wonderful evening and also to be part of the galaxy of my fellow awardees. It's indeed a great honor. As uh, Suchitra Yella has just told us that I would not have been standing here without my team that worked day in and day out. I might just say that it is also without my women volunteers who worked during COVID to protect children from child marriage, hunger, sexual abuse, and to see that they continue to aspire for education. In this, I include ASHA workers, I include Anganwadi workers, I include the PHC doctors, I include the police, the government servants who were with our own volunteers who protected girls so well during COVID. Thank you very much. I thank my team for this honor, and I'm so glad that I'm part of this very, very good occasion. I think I go by the police. I'm sorry, I don't remember her, her uh, name. I think women just rock. Let's celebrate today. Thank you, ma'am, for that wonderfully inspiring few words. To be an artist is to tread a vulnerable path. You create something so deeply personal and then present it to the world with an open heart. Not everyone is so fearless. Her art can speak things that can't always be said with words. Through her craft, she helps many others to evoke and validate their emotions, providing both physical and mental succor. She has been invited to give demonstrations across India and overseas in 14 other countries. Her work has widely spread Indian art and culture and awareness of nature. It's with a deep sense of pride that I invite on stage Srimati Rekha Reddy, First Master O'Hara Ikebana, and past chairperson Fiki Flo Hyderabad to accept the FIVA Award for Outstanding Contribution to Art and Culture. Fiki Flow member Nidhi Agarwal will escort her. I invite on stage Sri Abhishek Agarwal, Managing Director, Sri Jewelers, our principal sponsor for today, to bestow her with the award along with our chief guest. Karam and good evening. 
Um, after uh, Suchi and Shika and Shanta Garo and Deepan Vita, I feel I'm not sure if I should be standing here in line after you. But it's a pleasure. Thank you so much, Fiki Flo Hyderabad, for this honor. It's indeed a privilege. And I think I share this honor with my teacher, Amina Aunty, my mother, Shamla, both of them who taught me, Ikebana, my family, friends, and my students, many of them who are here, because they're always there uh, to support in anything I venture into. And sometimes what I venture into is surprises myself, but they work pretty well. Thank you all so much. And I think uh, instances like this just motivate and propel me even further to spread uh, the awareness of nature and uh, the awareness for the environment and to protect the environment. And also what I found is uh, Ikebana and uh, flower arrangement has become a very unusual tool to spread Indian art and culture, which is the part I'm enjoying so much. And it's always nice even for our youth or even I didn't know so much about Indian art and culture till I started reading about it to juxtapose it with the flower arrangement. And it's so nice to take this, uh, uh, our heritage, the richness of heritage to other countries also through the medium of flowers because it's easier to accept and makes it more interesting. So it's been a really wonderful journey. Thank you again, Usharani, chapter chairperson, the whole flow team for this honor and this award. I had some other things in mind, but I think you fed us too much snack and I've been like so full it's I really don't know what I was going to say it's just a wonderful evening and your idea of putting uh, this program together uh, to motivate women to strive and excel in whatever fields they have is such a wonderful idea thank you and thank you again so much So every time a tall lady comes, this goes up, and I'm told to bring it down. <laughs> and I'm wearing heels, too. Honest confession. We move on now to the next set of awards, awards that commemorate and salute the selfless service of our frontline warriors, our armies in white coats, in khaki uniforms, in blue overalls. They are the people who heal us, protect us, keep us safe working without a thought for themselves, braving it like freedom fighters to help us gain victory over the dreaded enemy, coronavirus. Presenting the COVID Warriors Awards to departments of the very efficient, very people-centric Telangana government. To put all thoughts of your own safety aside and care for the sick requires superhuman effort, but our doctors and healthcare workers at every level have done just that, fearlessly with sheer commitment to the Hippocratic Oath. The Telangana government reacted nearly proactively by setting up the specialized Telangana Institute of Medical Sciences to exclusively combat the virus, to accept the FIVA award for selfless service during COVID-19 on behalf of the Health and Medical Welfare Department of Government of Telangana. I invite on stage Dr. Vimla Thomas, Director Tim's Telangana Institute of Medical Sciences. Floor member Vinita Baldev will escort you, ma'am. gentlemen, Honorable Mayor. I'm truly grateful to be a woman. Aren't we all? Yes. We all truly should be grateful because womanhood is you. Every woman's success, I personally feel, should be an inspiration to us because when we are together, we are the strongest. Right? I would first like to thank the government of Telangana because it is only because of them I was given this opportunity to establish, start and run an exclusive COVID hospital 
known as Telangana Institute of Medical Sciences and Research at Gachiboli. We have a dedicated team and constant support from the government. In TIMS, it's shortly known as TIMS, we have seen the various kind, uh, sides of humanity. We have seen patients, you know, even after being treated, nobody wants to take them home. We have seen patients who have died, but nobody wants to cremate them. Through all this, our dedicated staff have done wonders. It's not that we've only seen acts like this, but we've also seen acts of kindness, generosity, and courageousness. And I don't miss a chance to repeat myself that don't think Corona COVID is over. Cases may have come down, but we should not let our guard down. We should wear our masks. We should maintain distance. We should maintain our hygiene, hand washing. And more importantly now, when it is our time, we should take our vaccine. I was among the first to take the vaccine in the state. I have taken both the doses of vaccine. Okay, and I have developed antibodies to it. It is a very safe vaccine. So I highly recommend that everyone should take it. Okay, so please do that. Please do that. And I would also like to thank my husband who's here and my family and Figgy Flo for having given me this opportunity and for giving us a platform to express ourselves. So thank you so much and wishing you all the very best. Thank you. There he goes. Thank you, ma'am. As Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, due to their exemplary work during the pandemic, the human face of the khaki uniform has been engraved in people's memory. The virus failed to crush their indomitable spirit as they continued to work in human hours and in extreme work conditions through summer and winter, day and night, to keep us all safe. To accept the FIVA award for selfless service during COVID-19 on behalf of Telangana Police, I invite on stage Srimati C. Anusuya, DCP Women and Children Safety Wing, Cyberabad. gentlemen present here today. It is my pleasure to accept the award on behalf of the Police Department, Telangana State. I feel it is a privilege to me to accept this award because the Police Department worked very hard day and night during the COVID period. I was associated with the Cyberabad Police and during the initial stages, I remember what kind of panic was created and how we all struggled to, uh, to ensure uh, continuity of business and to ensure that people stay at home. And we all were on the roads to ensure the safety and security of the people of Hyderabad. And in the process, we also lost a few of our people Many of us were also infected with the COVID, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the uh, infected with COVID. And now all of us have got our first shot of COVID vaccine. So we are thankful for that. And the next shot has also started. So I feel it is my privilege to accept this award on behalf of, uh, 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 of our police department. And I thank Fiki Flo for giving us this award and thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. 
Floor member Vandana Mehra will escort you back. When cities and towns go quiet and roads are deserted, they work tirelessly to ensure that people are not deprived of clean and sanitized surroundings of water and electricity, transport and communication, food and groceries, medicines and essentials. They risk their own lives to save ours. To give away the FIVA award for selfless service during COVID-19 to our chief guest and mayor, Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation, I invite you back on stage, National President Fiki Flo, Janbi Pukan. wanted Mayor Ji to stay on stage for some more time. We come to the end of our first set of awards. We have another set. Thank you, dignitaries on stage, for doing the honors. And here's where I will leave you in the very efficient hands of Vice Chair Fiki Flo Hyderabad, Shubhra Maheshwari, to take the evening forward. Good evening, Hyderabad. I hope all of us are having a good time. Before we move on to the rest of the awards, where we honor our young achievers and public administration talent, we bring to you talent of another kind. Sanjeeta Bhattacharya is a Berkeley College of Music graduate, adept at Hindustani classical, jazz, gospel, R&B, flamenco, and Balkan music genres. She is the darling of music lovers. She has, to her credit, highly acclaimed singles and has performed at live shows across India and accompanied India's musical legend A.R. Rahman on his concert tours. Please welcome on stage singer, songwriter, performer, Ms. Sangeeta Bhattacharya. Sit back and enjoy her mellifluous presentation. Let's give a big round of applause to Ms. Sangeeta Bhattacharya.
Good evening, ladies. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> and good evening, gentlemen. My name is Sanjita Bhattacharya, and I'm a musician. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> um, it's such an honor to be amongst all of you. Uh, being a woman, being an artist, we are constantly pitted against each other, and most of the times it becomes all about competition. But if this metamorphosis from being a little girl to a woman, <laughs> if it's taught me anything, it's that someone's rise does not mean your fall. It just means that you too can do it. So here's to dreaming, dreaming big, and helping each other grow, helping each other achieve these dreams. I'll be playing you a song by one of my favorite artists, A.R. Rahman. This one's called Dil Hai Chota Sa, Choti Si Asha.
Thank you so much. This next song is by one of my favorite artists. Um, he's a guitar player and a songwriter from the States. His name is, and I actually bumped into, the, into him on the street uh, while I was in college. It was quite something. I got a little signature. It was awesome. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs by him. It's called Free Falling. <laughs> and um, I think it stands for all of us, stands for something that all, we all want, regardless of us being men or women or anything in between. We're in 2021. Um, so here this, here's this. It's called Free Falling. I hope you guys like it.
Thank you so much for having me, everyone. My name is Sanjita Bhattacharya. It's an honor, it's an overwhelming honor to be amongst all of you. You're all beautiful. Have a great rest of the night, and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers. This was so amazing, absolutely mesmerizing, Sangeeta. Thank you so much for taking us into a world of bliss. And before we move forward into our next segment of awards, we would like to honor our associate sponsor, Sri Vasi Reddy Swagruha Foods. I invite upon stage Flow Hyderabad Chairperson, Ms. Usha Rani Mane, and wife Flow Hyderabad Chairperson, Ms. Apurva, to please come on stage. I also invite upon stage Dr. Monica of Sri Vasi Reddy Swagruha Foods. Dr. Monica. And now, let's all get back and applaud our next set of winners. To give away the next three awards, I call upon stage our guest of honor, Sri Jayesh Ranjanji, to join Ms. Usharani and Ms. Apurva. And focused, she balances the claims of not one but two huge legacies that of the Apollo Hospital Empire and the Telugu film industry. But her ambition is distinctly her own to bring wellness to rural and urban India using a creative new approach. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Upasna Kamineni, Vice Chairperson, Apollo Life who will receive the FIVA Award for Entrepreneurial Excellence. Floor member Vishali Inani will escort her. I also request Sri Madan Mohan Reddy, Director at Aurobindo Pharma, our co-sponsor for today, to join Sri Jayesh Ranjanji in giving away the award. from you. Hi, I'm really honored uh, to get this award, but I would like to dedicate this award to every mother, every sister, every wife that tries to make her home a better place. Running a home is a tougher job than running any big business. So to all of you out there, I know how much it matters and uh, kudos to all of you. I still have a lot to learn and I'm proud that you all are helping me in this journey. Thank you. Thank you, Pasna. From being an environmentalist by heart to a crusader who drove Hyderabad to emerge as the leader of recycling initiatives in India, Hari Chandra Dasari, district collector Narayan Pate, has always been an inspiration for many. In her own words, keeping an open mind rather than setting limits and staying highly positive are crucial to personal and societal progress. 
Congratulations, Ms. Hari Channa, for winning the FIVA Award for Public Administration. Flow member Konda Kavita Reddy will escort you to the stage. I also invite Srimati Vandana Pai, Director at Infra Bazaar, our co-sponsor for today, to come on stage to give over the award along with Jayeshji. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much uh, for making me a part of this evening and uh, conferring this award on us, on me. I would uh, rather say uh, I uh, deserve this award on behalf of all my seniors and my colleagues, also my uh, team members who have been, uh, especially with the GHMC where I've worked with in the past, uh, who have. Uh, uh, taken up this drive and uh, supported me in it and uh, I would say inspiring to see a lot of senior officers who have led me on this path especially Jayesh Ranjan sir standing here so uh, we as women look up to other examples that we see around us so uh, I personally believe that we grow together all of us working together, cheering each other, small or big, we are today standing here on the shoulders of illustrious women and also men who have supported us and we are here today. So hopefully we set a better path, we raise stronger children, stronger girls to stand up to the world and more importantly stronger men. I am a young mother, I have a four year old so I keep thinking I would raise a strong daughter but I would also uh, look for strong boys to be raised so that they, they give equal opportunities and we work towards a more equitable society. So thank you Fiki for uh, uh, making me a part of this event today and honoring me with this award. Thank you. She reimagined how a village could live. She restructured how a village could function. She practically demonstrated to the world how a single woman with a noble goal can transform a humble village into a model village visited by thousands from across the world. Deep respect and heartfelt felicitations to our next winner, Ms. Kumbala Lakshmi, ZPTC member of Narayan Rao Pet for winning the FIVA award for grassroots impact. Ms. Kumbala Lakshmi is not here with us today, but I would like Ms. Usha Rani to accept the award on her behalf. Let's give a big round of applause for Ms. Kumbala Lakshmi for her amazing efforts at the grassroots level. Thank you so much Jayeshi for your gracious presence on stage. To give away the next awards, I call upon stage guest of honor, honor former representative of India to the UN, Sri Sayyid Akbaruddin. Flow member Ms. Bela Modi will escort you. Her startup is changing the way India rides. Environmentally responsible mobility is her motto, and she is literally one of the few change drivers in the electric mobility sector of India. Her efforts will see cleaner city airs and lowered acoustic levels. 
and of course affordable last mile connectivity by way of highly efficient electric scooters. Calling on stage, Ms. Chandani Chandana Akula, co-founder and CEO, Avera Energy, to receive the FIVA Award for Startup Excellence. Floor member, Ms. Neeru Mohan will escort you. Also inviting, Sri Spandana of Vasi Reddy Swagruha Foods, or Dr. Monica, our associate sponsor today, to join Sri Akbaruddin in giving away the award. Big round of applause. Thank you. We would like to hear a few words from you, Ms. Chandni Chandra. Respected dignitaries, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am very honored to be receiving this award, especially in the company of wonderful women who have created their benchmarks in their own respective fields. Uh, this award would not have been possible without three persons in my life. My dad, the best critic, a best humanitarian, a walking encyclopedia, Chandana Kedarish Garu, and my darling sir, who is here, for being such a great mentor and my son Ashriv. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The challenge of chess, holding complexity in mind and yet make good winning decisions is also the challenge of life. She embodies the strength, power, and dignity that comes with making good decisions under pressure. She has the clarity of purpose experienced at each moment of each game. She is second only men's grandmaster of chess in India. I welcome her on stage the Padma Shri and Arjun Award winning chess grandmaster Ms. Harika Dronawali to receive the FIVA Award for Excellence in Sports accompanied by FLOW member Ms. Shweta Dandamuri. Let's give a big round of applause to Ms. Harika Dronawali. Harika, I've personally seen you coach when you were, uh, before you were the Grandmaster, so we would love to hear some nuggets of wisdom from you. Good evening, everyone. Firstly, International Happy Women's Day to all the beautiful women out here. I feel extremely honored to take this award in between such great achievers uh, and I think I'm feeling more nervous than uh, Padma Shri award because it's been a year I stayed at home uh, so this definitely is a good start for my year and uh, to start fresh all over again firstly I would like to thank my parents because when I started my chess career uh, sports was not even a profession even when I used to travel people used to ask what do you do and when I told I play chess, okay, then what do you study? So that's how it used to be. And now it changed. It changed a lot. And I think it will get even better in future. So I'm extremely happy that my parents took that decision at th those times when it was needed. So I really, really thank uh, them and my husband, who is also encouraging me equally like my parents. And because it's a Women's Day, I would like to dedicate my award to my mother and my grandmother who are pillars of my success and I think if I believe that any successful person is not just one but a whole team and uh, that's why I feel they deserve it more than me 
and thank you so much fiki for giving me this opportunity and i am going to have a memorable evening and i will have i'll take many memories from here thank you so much thank you harika dignitaries on stage thank you for giving away the prestigious fiva awards kindly take your seats in the audience to witness adya the dance of confidence a presentation by our very own members of fiki flow hyderabad chapter i now turn the podium over to flow member meher arya to take this segment forward enjoy the evening i believe so i can and i will it reflects the positivity and energy that assures us that nothing is impossible if you aspire for something with passion you can make it happen and the entire universe converges to give it to you ladies and gentlemen good evening and adab what you are about to witness here this evening is going to be virtual poetry in motion through the medium of dance drama and fashion The ensemble will evocatively capture the sublime spirit of womankind that can soar to great heights despite all odds. Rooted in power and strength, it is uplifting in a sense, turning the very ordinary moments of life into something spellbindingly spectacular. I truly believe that in some way, ladies and gentlemen, there is the alchemist the divinity in each one of us all we need to do is unleash that power within walking the talk with grace and aplomb celebrating love life and womanhood are the members flim flow and wife flow hyderabad couture from manomai by archana jaju and spectacular jewels from shri jewelers as moods dominate the senses their charisma will set the tone for the evening to follow presenting adhya enjoy
खुद की खोज में निकल तू किस लिए आदर्श है तू चल तेरे वजूद की समय को भी तलाश है समय को भी तलाश है जो तुझसे लिपटी बेड़ियां समझना इनको वस्त्र दो जो तुझसे लिपटी बेड़ियां समझना इनको वस्त्र तू ये बेड़ियां पिघाल के बना ले इनको शस्त्र तू बना ले इनको शस्त्र तू तो खुद की खोज में निकल तो किस लिए हताश है तो चल तेरे वजूद की समय को भी तलाश है समय को भी तलाश है चरित्र जब पवित्र है तो क्यों है ये दशा तेरी चरित्र जब पवित्र है तो क्यों है ये दशा तेरी ये पापियों को हक नहीं कि ले परीक्षा तेरी कि ले परीक्षा तेरी तो खुद की खोज में निकल तो किस लिए हताश है तू चल तेरे वजूद की समय को भी तलाश है जला के भस्म कर उसे जो क्रूरता का जाल है जला के भस्म कर उसे जो क्रूरता का जाल है तू आरती की लौ नहीं तू क्रोध की मशाल है तू क्रोध की मशाल है तो खुद की खोज में निकल तो किस लिए हताश है तू चल तेरे वजूद की समय को भी तलाश है समय को भी तलाश चुनर उड़ा के ध्वज बना गगन भी कप कप आएगा चुनर उड़ा के ध्वज बना गगन भी कप कप आएगा अगर तेरी चुनर गिरी तो एक भूकंप आएगा एक भूकंप आएगा तो खुद की खोज में निकल तो किस लिए हताश है चल तेरे वजूद की समय को भी तलाश है समय को भी तलाश
This evening, ladies and gentlemen, is imaginative and inspirational. It is soulful and high on quality. What we are about to showcase is a fashion spectrum, a collection of the finest styles designed by the finest in the business. Our couture partners, ladies and gentlemen, have been in the business of dressing up the discerning Hyderabadi for well over a decade. Brand Manomai believes in incorporating tradition with modernity in its designs. Manomai boasts of a clientele that looks for the very best in fashion and is a multi-brand store with amazing creations. Our jewelry partner, ladies and gentlemen, Shri Jewelers, has the outstanding reputation of successfully combining traditions of the past with an innovative approach to the present in design and craftsmanship. Shri believes in timeless elegance and perfection, showcasing the most unusual designs curated by master craftsmen. Hair and makeup has been done by Mirrors, the salon who have been decking up the New Age Bride and is the go-to place for all our Tolly stars. In our next presentation, we showcase a classic lineup that is drool-worthy and full of love. We call it the Aura of Light. Let's play. <laughs> I'm 
Come on, ladies and gentlemen, put those hands together for our lovely members walking the talk here tonight. Presenting a woman of substance, our couture partner, Archana Jaju. <laughs> Also presenting, ladies and gentlemen, our jewelry partner, the young and extremely dynamic Arpita Agarwal from Sri Jewelers. I think we have Abhishek Agarwal joining us on center stage to represent the brand. Thank you, Abhishek. Thank you, Anjana. Thank you, Abhishek. And thank you, lovely ladies. I know the world by knowing myself. The many facets of me I express. No words, no poems, just letting me be. For my every feeling is a beautiful me. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting all the amazing women of substance who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes, putting their best foot forward to put this wonderful evening together. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome on center stage National President Flo Janabi Pukan. Also presenting Chairperson Flo Hyderabad, Usha Rani Mane. Incoming Chair Flo Hyderabad, Uma Chigurupati. Incoming Vice Chair, please welcome Shibra Maheshwari. Incoming Y Flow Chair, ladies and gentlemen, Deep the Ready. Honorary Secretary Flo Hyderabad, please welcome Priya Gazdar. Treasurer Flo Hyderabad, Sujita Chetiala. Joint Secretary Flo Hyderabad, Radhika Agarwal. We are delighted to present all the members, Aarti Shah, Sunali Saraf, Vandana Shetty, Nishita Mane. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shilpa Raju. I am absolutely delighted to welcome Wife Low Chairperson on center stage, Apurva Jain. May I also invite Shilpa Raju, 
Sarika Burugu, Lalita George, Radha Rani, Ritu Shah, Gunjan Sindhi, Nanda Rao Magante, Padma Somiredi. Please welcome Maya Patel. Rashmi Doshi, Simran Chabra, Monica Bandula, Jyoti Manne, Sarita Chilakapati, and Ananda UV. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. They've really worked tirelessly to put this show together. Ladies and gentlemen, to welcome back on stage our lovely participants. Please welcome Damya Doshi, Pahel Agarwal, Diya Gupta. Keep the music rolling, Imran. Mahati Velamati, Priya Gandhar, Janavi Gupta, Diya Gupta, Neha Gupta, Homal Bhagga, Aarti Shah, Shivani Shah, Padma Sohiradi. Maya Patel, Rashmi Doshi, Simran Chabra, Indu Agarwal, Swarna Shah, Fasiha Khan, Ridula Malu, Smita Guda, Radhika Sri Ram, Vinu Sharma, Indu Surana, Sarita Lohia, Nanda Rao, Soumya, Manasi Agarwal, Namita Kanodia, Kavita Kedia, Meena Mehta, Shalini Madani, and Vandana Bajaj. She is undoubtedly a young achiever with a distinctive spark and amazing talent. We are absolutely delighted to present the newly crowned Miss India World from Apna Hyderabad, the gorgeous Manasa Varanasi. May I please request past National President Flo, Miss Pinky Reddy, to accompany Miss India on centre stage. <laughs>
absolutely honored and privileged to request Chairperson Flo Hyderabad, Usha Rani Mane, Chairperson Wild Flo Apurva Jain, and Miss Pinky Reddy to felicitate our young achiever, Miss India World, Manasa Varanasi, on this very, very special evening. for many a blockbuster on the ramp, choreographer Imran Khan and his son Jibran Khan. May I also invite our dance choreographer Sravya Manasa. The event has been curated and executed by yours truly. The event, ladies and gentlemen, has been curated and executed by yours truly and my son, Danish Arya. ladies and gentlemen thank you all thank you Manasa thank you Pinky thank you Miss Janabi Pukan and all you lovely participants for putting your best foot forward on uh, International Women's Day well I'm so overwhelmed I'm lost for words thank you so much ladies and gentlemen the evening is not over and we have a lot more to come enjoy the rest of it here at this majestic Chaumala Palace
well. That was something. Hope you all enjoyed it as much as we did from putting it together to presenting it for you. No Manomay, no Adya. I invite Archana Jaju, the creative force behind Manomay, a multi-designer store housing the creme de la creme of Indian designers to join us on stage. Most of what our ladies flaunted so gracefully on stage today is the handiwork of Archana, one of Hyderabad's most respected designers. Now invite Abhishek Agarwal, Managing Director at Shri Jewelers to come on stage. Shri Jewelers are adornment partner and co-sponsor as well. We can't thank you enough for your support at so many levels. We shown in the artistry of your invaluable creations. Beautifully turned out with impeccable makeup and innovative hairdos, the credit goes to Mirror's Luxury Salons. A pioneer of hair and beauty industry, Mirror's ushered in a slew of changes that has made it a top brand in the country. Dr. Vijay Lakshmi Gudapati awards galore and a doctorate for her amazing work with cancer patients. I call upon Ms. Sonia of Mirror's to receive the award on her behalf. for the last. The brand development and management company that is the first choice of most leading corporate and healthcare leaders in Hyderabad, RBC Worldwide, to who we owe the complete branding of not only FIVA but flow itself through the year. I invite on stage Chairman and Managing Director of RBC Worldwide, Mr. Ramakanti, and I, Director and CEO at RBC Worldwide, nominate myself to join him to receive the memento.
as i take leave of you i invite on stage shrimati uma chigurupati incoming chairperson of fiki flow hyderabad to deliver her word of thanks thank you ladies and gentlemen for bearing me for being such a wonderful and encouraging audience it was a pleasure hosting you thank you priya a very good evening wishing you all the wonderful women a very happy women's day my heartfelt thanks to shrimati vijayalakshmi honorable mayor greater hyderabad sri jayesh ranjan principal secretary it electronics and communications sri sayed akbaruddin ifs shrimati janabi bhukan national president fiki flow shrimati pinki reddy past president fiki flow other dignitaries invitees guests members from the media and the flow fraternity thank you all for taking your valuable time to attend this program over the past couple of hours we have witnessed a wonderful program of honoring eligible deserving achievers who outshined in their respective fields because of their vision dedication determination and the passion for success facilitating them is an honor to our organization congratulations to each and every one of you i appreciate all the participants for their excellent performance i thank all of our sponsors for their generosity title sponsors quantra quads principal sponsors shri, shri jewelry co sponsors arbindo pharma and infra bazaar associate sponsors vasreddy swagruha foods Kochori Partners, Manomi, Adornment Partner, Sri Jewelers, and uh, Delight Partner, Creamstone, Inspiriting Partner, Bacardi, Hospitality Partner, Amrita Kazal, and Gifting Partners, Kashish, Varenyam, Anagha, The Kaftan Company, Life Pure Company, Gome Foodworks. Genome Labs, Green Station, Lotus, Almond House, Flower, Vasreddy Swagruha, and Agra Sweets. Thank you, one and all, again. I thank Sri Kishan Rao and the team for all the cooperation, and I thank all the past chairs who joined us here. I congratulate all my team members for all the hard work they had put in in bringing out this beautiful program. I also thank Meher Dhanesharya of Star Events, Imran and Jabran Khan for the choreography. Once again, thank you one and all. Please join for dinner.